Uh, okay, so we are going to work on resolving the forces. So resolving the forces in two perpendicular directions. So let's say that if we have this force, which is force F, and it is making an angle of theta degrees to this blue line. And if we extend it to the other side also, a line which is perpendicular to this blue line is this line. So these two lines are perpendicular to each other. So we our purpose is to resolve this force F having angle theta with this line in these two blue directions. So it's very simple. The component of this force along this direction will be a force if I mark it with green color so it will be a force here till end of this and the force component of this force F along this direction will be here till this level so which is here it is along the angle this component we call the component along the angle so it will be f cosine of the angle theta degrees why this one is cosine because we know that cosine theta is adjacent adjacent over hypotenuse So that's why since this is adjacent to the angle, so it is cosine, which is opposite to the angle, since sine theta is equal to opposite over the hypotenuse, hypotenuse. So that's why this force will be F sine of the angle theta decrease. So this is the two components of this purple force F, which is F cos theta and F sine theta. Now see it again directly now if we wanted to. So this was the force F having angle theta here and we are resolving along these two directions. So the two components will be, if I draw with orange color, so one component will be here and one component will be here. So we, one, this component will be here. So this component will be F cosine of the angle and this component will be F sine of the angle. So both are in degrees. So these two are. If the force acting at this point is a pulling force, so this is actually a pulling force. So the two components will also be the pulling components. Similarly, if the force is a pushing force, so it is having angle theta. So the two components along these two directions, which are perpendicular to each other. So will be two forces, this component in this direction, and this component will be in this direction. So which is along the angle, that will be F cosine 
theta and this will be f sine theta. So since this is a pushing force, so the two components are also the pushing components to the object which is here and the object which is here, these two components are the pulling components. So this is a pulling force. So these are the two pulling components and this is a pushing force. So the two components are the pushing components. Further cases, like let's say that this is the object and this is another object and this is another object. So here the force is acting in this direction. Here the force is acting in this direction and here the force is acting in this direction. This is a pushing force, this is a pulling force and this is a pulling force. So we are interested in resolving along this direction and a direction perpendicular to that. This direction and perpendicular to that, this direction and perpendicular to that. So let's say consider the first case force. <clears throat> so in this case, so let's say that this time we have this angle given. And in this case, let's say we have this angle given. And in this case, this angle is given. So in this first case, so the component drawing with orange color, pushing, pulling component of this pulling force, the component will be this direction because this force is having this direction, it will be this part, not in this way, it will be in this way. And this is downward, so this component will be downwards. So no matter, you make it longer or shorter because it's just sketch. So it will be this. So this is opposite to the angle. Angle is here, so this part is opposite to the angle. So this will be the force times sine of the angle. And this will be the force, and it is adjacent to the angle, so this will be F cosine theta. Up here, this force has this angle, so adjacent to this. So this component will be the adjacent component. Since this force is acting upward, so it will be upward component. And this force is acting leftward, so the component will be leftwards. So along the angle is with force multiplied by cosine of the angle. And the uh, component which is opposite to this is opposite to this angle will be F sine of the angle. And similarly here, this is the angle. So the component here will be the adjacent component. Now, since it's a pushing force, so the arrow is here. So the component will also have the arrow here. And the other force will be here. Since it is acting upward, so the component will also be upward component. So it this will be in this direction. You see that it's a pushing force, so the components are also pushing components. So this will be, which is along the angle, will be F cosine of theta, and this is opposite to the angle, it is on the other side, so opposite, so it means it is F sine theta. So see that we have considered multiple cases that the force is a pushing force or a pulling force, and we are resolved, we have resolved them into two directions which are perpendicular to each other and having an angle with one of its direction. So see it again. These are the different cases. So only on the basis of cos theta is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse and sine theta is opposite over hypotenuse. We use this to find the two components. So component which is along the angle will be the force times cosine of this angle and the component which is opposite to the angle will be force times sine of the angle. Okay, I hope it is clear to everyone. So have a nice time.